Good morning, good morning, good morning, and good morning, good morning, good morning. Now you're only, I mean, if you were to say, how can I spot a true rhino with a rhino on it, right? They'd have to have rhino green Christmas lights and they'd have to be drinking mud. Because that's what rhinos do. All right, so let's jump into it. Um, I think a lot of good things are happening. I really, really do. So Rhino Bucks, I'm going to purchase right after this call. In fact, I think being on this call always reminds me. Again, my mornings, so lately my mornings have been starting around 3.45 a.m. And by the time I send money over to the account, it's usually around 4.30, 5 o'clock. And the money needs to stay in Binance for, I believe, three hours. But by 7 a.m., I leave the house and I have my two hours of like jogging, listening to music and just getting ready. I don't know if I could say getting ready for the day because I'm already in the day, but that's my break. Um, so then afterwards, I come home, I take a look at the market, I do Rhino Welt, I do Rhino, and then I'm like, oh, wait, I got to buy Rhino Bucks. Hey, Frida. Um, so that will happen right after this call. Cool. In fact, we broke 250 yesterday. I don't, I don't know where it is now, but it closed at 250. So super cool. I'm not sure we ever got 270, but it, it looks like that's squarely in our, in our, in our sets. So that's a good thing. Okay. And it's going to go much higher because I'm still waiting to do an email where I sit there and say, hey, I lasted this email when it was 170. I told you we'd be buying it every single day. It's now 250. If you'd like to be a part of the next move, I'm now reiterating I'm going to buy it, blah, blah, blah. Um, you should get in. So there will be more money that comes in. And I know that, but I'm not doing that yet because Unless I have income, like actual income, not just investment income, then I'm not doing that email. Um, we need to make sure that's sustainable because right now I believe it's sustainable because I believe we're going to have that income. But investment income, begetting investment income, begetting investment income is, I think that's actually illegal. I think that's like the term is like Ponzi scheme, which that's not this. So I will not do that email until we actually have our products generating income so I know the income could um, uh, support it. But that email is coming. So if you wanted to front run that, uh, you should, because it's going to continue going higher. That's that. Um, so what's, what that email is waiting for is two things. One, Ted to start making money. Two, Rhino Welt, the new platform to be launched. Rhino Welt is doing very well. Investopedia, we made a deal with that actually gives us everything we want. We can create groups and allow everyone $100,000 play money to manage their own portfolio using stock, options, margin, everything. And it's being reset on a monthly basis with a, with a centralized leaderboard. The target practice is me. If you do better than me, you win. If you do worse than me, you lose. I'm only one person, right? So there might be months where everyone beats me. I have no idea. Maybe I'll beat everyone, hopefully. But I do have to beat at least 80% of people. Otherwise, we lose money. And I, I really don't want to lose money. Like, I, I don't want to lose money. Um, but if I do 81%, then great. I had a lot of fun. Rhino made money. A lot of people made money. Everyone's happy. Kumbaya. Really, really cool. The only thing standing in the way between us and realizing that is building a lander page, building a funnel, building a, um, uh, a, um, a, a buy link, like a product page, and building out the email sequences that are structured around such a product. I also want to build some type of social platform to it. I, I got to look at Investopedia. They might actually have a centralized location where everyone could chat and say, oh my God, look at me, look at me, look at me. Oh, hey, Andy. Um, which will be really, really super cool. So I, I got to look further into that. But that's what's, and, and uh, that's funny, I, 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 I say ad spend, but it might not actually be needed. Like we have a big enough list that I do think we could get to probably the first 20, 30, 40 people. Our Rhino Wealth used to have 340 paid monthly members. Um, not only do I think that we could probably do it ourselves, 
But I also think instead of doing ad spend, I might be able to just do ad spend within our own list, right? For every person you bring in, I'll give you 50 bucks. Now, of course, the person you bring in is a thousand dollar ticket and we're still maybe we'll lower. I, I don't know. Right. Like I still got to think of that it, again. It's not launched yet. So it's still thinking time. But if you bring someone that does a thousand dollar ticket to join, can I give you a hundred bucks? Sure. But now I need to be better than, say, 83 percent of people to make it make sense. So I still have to do all the math. Right. But the point being the amount of money one spends on ad spend is a real significant number. And the and and the ability uh, the ability to then convert people into thousand dollar paid members is probably a really low number. And in that equation, I'd rather pay people in Rhino than pay algorithms for like Twitter. So there is an opportunity coming up, and I do want to ha do it quickly because everyone does have Christmas around the corner. And also what I do know about the stock market is if you are an investor and you do options and you trade, people are who they're friends with. You have like-minded friends. And the value proposition that we're offering is if you beat me, you win five times your money. So it's like, yeah, all my friends trade. They make 20, 30% a month. They think they're great. They have a thousand laying around. They'll do it with you and you're telling me they'll get $5,000 that they beat you. They'll be so happy. And I'm going to make a hundred dollars for everyone I bring over. Great. I have a hundred people for you tomorrow. If that's the case, or at least if we can, if we can see that through, well, we can, we can be making, uh, you know, really, really quite popular very, very soon. So despite things moving slowly, they're not moving slowly by accident, right? Like, Hey, I have a personal life. That's a complete nightmare, but that's okay. Um, despite that, Nothing has ever stopped here. I just wake up earlier and I get my stuff done. But the th where it does come into account is the thought process. You know, my thoughts, I really can't wait for them to go back to being 100% about Rhino because even if they're 90%, well, 10% less means a 10% longer duration for things to work. And I know that sounds silly, but that's actually the math of how life happens, right? Um, but the point is today's November 21st. I really, really, really would like to have this out. Oh, I cursed, but I, I bleeped it. Um, Black Friday is this Friday. <sighs> Amory's invited in investing trading groups. Disc yeah. I, so, so two things. One, Maurice, that's a fantastic idea. Two, I think you're better at that than I am, right? So can I do it? Yes. And will I do it? Yes. Right? Like I'm not lazy, but does this offer an opportunity where I could say, hey, Maurice, let's get on a call because I think you can do this far and away and I want to compensate you this way for doing this. And you would say, yeah, I can totally do that and everyone's happy. I think that conversation has a chance for success. And I think maybe there's only one Maurice, let's get that straight, right? But do I think there are people like Maurice that would equally uh, like to have that conversation? I do. And how many Maurice's do you need to have a very successful platform, right? So I do think these things are there, which actually pushes me to, I need to get this done. Because if I could have this as a Black Friday offer and just spend all weekend doing it and then do it for the rest of the months going into December and have December 1st as the first date, that would be, I mean, that's kind of, you know, it's so obnoxious when God comes down and tells you right versus wrong. And you're like, I have no choice now. Like I have to do that because Rhino doesn't do wrong things out of laziness. All right, so we're gonna have this launch by Friday. <laughs> I guess I'm not going to Thanksgiving this year. <laughs> okay, so that's that. Um, Ted, so good news. I spoke to my team yesterday and I want Ted to talk. I don't like that I have to pick up my phone to talk to Ted. I just don't. I, like, I wanna call Ted. I want to call Ted. I want to call Ted and say, hey, Ted, I have a question for you. And Ted to be like, hey, what's your question? I got you. And we can do that. And we can do it with WhatsApp. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I don't think it's going to take too long. So OpenAI also has a program called Whisper, which if you go on rhinostreet.com, you see we have Whisper. Whisper works for Android, not for Safari which you might say, well, Ant, that kind of changes things. No, because we're talking about WhatsApp, right? So WhatsApp 
is an application and it doesn't matter what phone you have. So we're circumventing the phone because WhatsApp is giving us the permission. Um, in which case, I do believe, and I'm not wagging my finger at you, that a person can call Ted on WhatsApp and whisper, which is the voice to text recognition, will allow you to have a verbal conversation with Ted. Meaning you can have your headpiece in, walk around and say, yeah, Ted, I just, you know, I, I need to talk to you about something and actually vent to Ted. That I think is, 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 is where we need to be. That's where I need to be. Also with Ted, once we get there, then we're going to start really making sure Ted's making these recommendations and people are happy with them and they're buying them and blah, 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 blah. Ted will be the world's best and not, you know, that sounds very hyperbolic, but if you can create your ideal version of a salesman and then um, introduce somebody to that salesman, that person says, wow, I want to marry that salesman. And the salesman's like, Hey, I got you. I'm always going to be a salesman for you, but Hey, I got you. I'm going to be the best husband or wife to you. Well, then is that not the most perfect e-commerce person ever? And I think the answer is yes. That's what Ted's going to become. Which, by the way, I need to talk to the patent office because we actually successfully have filed a provisional patent on Ted, but now I want to file a non-provisional. It's like four thousand dollars. I'm really not a fan of spending four thousand dollars, but I think that patent's worth more than that. So we'll see what happens. Uh, Leon, I did see you write something, but I want to finish my thought because if you were on Rhino Belt, you would notice that I uh, my thoughts are a little crazy. Hello, Anthony. Can you please take a look at your spam email folder? Respect it. Okay, yeah. So actually, to that point, oh, and he wrote it just to me. By the way, anyone that ever writes anything to me, I always read out loud. So don't write anything too embarrassing, which that obviously wasn't. In fact, it's probably more embarrassing to me, right? Like I'm, I didn't check my emails. So I, I lightly touched my emails yesterday, yesterday evening, and I was able to see a couple. One was like, since you didn't respond back to me, actually two were like that. And I was like, geez, I was like two things. One, when have I not been the person to ever respond back? Like, give me a day which is fine, it's the life we live. It actually goes back to a story and I'm not gonna tell the whole story, but the point is if you are someone to someone and you divert from being that person, despite your reasons, do not blame them for being upset at you. You're the one that changed. You're the one that didn't uphold your end. So I take full blame for it. That said, right? And I'm not gonna say the next sentence because then it's like, well, you didn't take blame for it, but you can have reasons and you could have excuses. I have reasons. And that's that, but it's my fault. So Leon to you, I don't even know if your email made it in spam. I don't think it did. I think I just didn't read any of it. Um, so today I will be reading all of my emails. So immediately after this call, I need to make a quick call. Then I'm going to buy Rhino bucks. Then I'm going to go through my emails. Then I'm going to work with my team, make sure that they're functional and not like, um, you know, having Thanksgiving uh, sleepies already. Then I'm going to start building, I'm going to finalize the Rhino Wealth value proposition. Then I'm going to start building the lander page. I'm going to see if that takes me to building funnels, um, which actually, by the way, one of our, one of our most favorite people here, your son emailed me and to this person, you know who you are. Even that I didn't read, although I think I pinned it to the top. And Leon's like, why didn't you pin mine? Again, I, I lightly went through my emails. I just saw a couple. Um, so I will be getting, again, getting back to all of those. But the reason why that reminded me of it is because it, it was titled Rhino Weld. So that's what my day looks like. The point being, we'll be closer tomorrow. Um, oh, cool. Yeah, thanks, Leon. We'll be closer tomorrow. And the goal is to have this launch for Friday, which means we have to have it reasonably completed by Thursday. And today's Tuesday. Okay. Okay. I think, I think that's okay. I think that's okay. Okay, cool. So let's have fun. Let's get in it. Love you. You love me. We're a big happy family and rhinos have green Christmas lights and they drink mud. All right. Love y'all. Um, oh, Rick, by the way, I don't, I, I gotta look, I don't know the CEO of, um, uh, capital one, but I almost mentioned your name on our rhino wealth this morning. Cause I think his name is like Rick and then I accidentally said yours, but I think it really is like Richard Fronanini. I don't know, but 
Um, just letting you know, go take a look and, and see how close it is. All right. Love y'all. Bye.